But at the end of it, I don't want to go because these things are all, the tapes are available, the records are there. In fact, only about two weeks ago I saw a set of the records again. The transcripts are available. But we talked about the Nigerian situation and certainly at the end everybody says oh you told them this you did that the fact was that our case was so clear that I actually I actually believe that the end of a, a bury that the problem was not the one but probably some ambassadors in Lagos who were uh, pressing for something else because we understood each other we agreed on every single point the drafting was in fact my chief secretary with two other chief secretaries from the other side I said no 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 and drafted and agreed we looked at it we agreed General Ankara read over the whole uh, report again to us at the end, asked us if we wanted to amend anything, no. At the end of all that, the position was so good that actually Ankara drove Jack Gawan and myself to the airport. Jack was sitting on his left, I was sitting on his right. He was in the middle. And in the course of that journey, at, at a point, General Ankara shook his head and said, oh, thank you. Thank you. If only we can go on like this, everything would be all right. I believe I was the one as I do now from time to time I go for the dramatic suddenly I picked up the one's hand put it on Ankara's lap brought my other hand placed it on it and I said General sir hold us together I want to say something so John Ankara put his hand on top of the two hands and I said, General, I want to assure you that I am totally satisfied with everything we said. I will even go further and say to you something I did not say at the conference and that is, that once we have implemented everything we have said I would ask you for one favor and one favor only and that would be to be the one to propose Jack Gawan as a head of state of Nigeria it was a two-day conference of peers and old mates but its aftermath produced even further controversy. When we came, uh, came back and Ojuku did not go to make the statement he made first, virtually giving the impression that we've uh, agreed for a confederation to uh, move apart, etc., uh, which was really not uh, in exactly that. Uh, if I had had the, uh, the, the opportunity to make my broadcast in the first, because that was the agreement, not for him to make the uh, uh, broadcast first. Then, if I had committed myself to what he said, then there, there wouldn't have been any problem. But uh, he went and said certain things that certainly looked uh, wrong, and therefore we saw in practically everything he did. I think it was uh, uh, for uh, to uh, play up uh, in, uh, to uh, the, the gallery, not being sincere. At Aburi, yes, we agreed on uh, area commands for the armed forces. 
And Aburi, we agreed that the police force would be decentralized. We agreed all this. Yes. We agreed even to show that we didn't separate at Aburi, we also agreed on a certain revenue formula. That's what happened at Aburi. Aburi again, because I always end up, it sounds odd today, but I always end up by saying <laughs> I must have been naive, because I believed actually that that would be the end. I'll confess to you, when I got back to Enugu, oh yes, I had it, I mean, I had a party, believing that probably the danger was over. That's what we thought. Until they then began to deny everything. It was the denial of Nigeria that made me publish the tapes of Aburi because we had insisted that each one should have a set of tapes. Everybody talks about confederation. Go and look at the transcript. There is no time that the word confederation came from my lips. In broad terms, Aburi changed the title of head of state from supreme military commander to commander in chief. It gave the regions control over internal affairs and concurrence of each region was now required for any decision affecting the whole country.